Hello everyone, welcome back to Track A Day. I have a little bit of a different video to share with you. A few Star Trek pickups that I grabbed when I was in Germany recently. I was recently there for a little over a week with some of my family. And there'll be a video about that trip up on my other channel. You know, my, my main channel might already be there by the time this goes up. And before I share a couple of things I found, just very briefly, talk about as it has some footage here playing of the town of Hofgeismar, where we were staying, sort of our central point. Uh, the trip uh, turned out a little differently than I was anticipating, but I also was kind of anticipating that. It was different from the normal kind of vacation that we would take. Uh, we hadn't been back to Germany in almost 20 years. But I used to go there to visit relatives in the summertime, and then one or two Christmases growing up. And this was more of a trip to reminisce, see things you know, that we haven't seen in decades, you know, see my you know, grandparents' house and visit my dad's grave, things like that. And things were kind of up in the air, so I didn't really get to go to any of the sort of thrift store type things that I was planning on going to. They're kind of more out of the way and obviously like not really the priority and uh, there's a huge video store in Castle, the city that I wanted to go to. Uh, I didn't really get to hit that up uh, but I did actually stumble upon a few Star Trek things that I wanted to pick up while I was there. Uh, one in a mall and one in a bookstore. So starting off with the couple of books that I found, I did find the German editions with the different cover art, which I actually like better, of the first of these three, uh, of the first three of these A Time 2 series books. Number three, number two. Uh, so yeah, I actually prefer the uh, cover art of these to the ones we have here in the U.S. They're pretty cool. And uh, the reason why I was looking for some Star Trek stuff in German, obviously, I like to collect vari different varieties and releases of Star Trek from all over the world, uh, but also it's something where I want to kind of reattach you know, my roots and you know, revisit you know, things uh, from my past and reestablish my connection to Germany that hasn't really been there for you know, almost two thirds of my life now and kind of relearn the German that I knew and then grow from there. So I wanted to grab Star Trek things, one, from just being the perspective of you know, a Star Trek collector, but also in that being something that will kind of motivate me to move in that direction and learn and grow and you know relearn things uh, in German by things that I would you know, gladly like to spend time with. And a big part of that is uh, you know, TV shows, you know, something that I'm casually watching, you know, favorite shows that I'm familiar with. That's a great way of learning a language in general, uh, and especially older stuff that I remember actually seeing a little bit in German when I was a kid, especially. So I picked up, while I was there, two complete series box sets, uh, newer versions, because uh, it was in a, a mall, similar to the ones that we have here, these box sets in the U.S., just the German releases. A lot of the, again, like the older Star Trek stuff that I was more looking for, we don't really go to the type of places that would, would have those, so. We have the first set for Deep Space Nine with seasons one through four. The big, you know, book style that a lot of series are now in, these complete series collections. Very good kind of space savers, and then seasons five, six, and seven. So I grabbed that whole box set. as well as the complete series of Star Trek Voyager on DVD. happy that I actually did get to find some cool Star Trek stuff, some of you know, the German versions of a few things. 
while I was there. And again, if you are curious about my trip at all, uh, up on the other channel, I'll link it in the description. And at the end of this video, once that's up, it might not be up by the time this is. We'll see what's going on here. And one of the funny things when I was in Germany was one evening, oh, we got home a little bit earlier and just kind of were chilling and turned on the TV. And the first thing that popped up on the TV was a TOS marathon. I thought that was really, really funny and appropriate. So I uh, obviously didn't spend very much time watching TV while I was there. We were out and about and doing all kinds of stuff. I happened to stumble upon a little local like festival in town square. There's all kinds of great stuff. Uh, but the few times I did watch TV while we were there, I pretty much just caught some TOS, one random episode of Enterprise, and some TNG. There just seemed to always be at least one Star Trek playing at any time I just turned on the regular cable TV. It was really funny and was a lot of fun.